Hello everybody, Giant the Potato Lord here with another Undertale Yellow video. So if you all remember last time we left off, um, we were in Snowden, we met Martlet, or who I kept calling Birdly's cousin. <laughs> we did a few puzzles, we helped a few people, you know, we did the good boy stuff. <clears throat> and we literally just skipped over a waterfall, we're in like, Hotland or like, the under part of Hotland maybe? And like, we're in the dunes, I think it was called. We just talked to Flowey. <clears throat> this cave is a little claustrophobic for my taste. Get out of there and see what we're really dealing with. Yeah, we're in the dunes now. So, yeah. I guess let's, let's go explore. Northern caverns up ahead. Oh, okay. Can't do anything with these, okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the poop. The West Mines. Property of Mining Co. Bro, what? We're in like a western area? Oh, uh, we're right where we belong then, huh? <laughs> Cactus. Bro, what is this? Oh, I can't go down there? Bro, what? Oh. Oh, is the music different? Oh, it's different, yep. Alrighty then, let's see what you got, buddy. Looking for some fun. Okay. Wiggle Woggle. Oh. Oh. Hey. Okay. Okay. Not too bad. Let that be your only attack, okay? Okay. Um, so you wanna have fun, so jiggle? They giggle at you. Ow, wow, wow, wow. Ooh. What? Oh. Oh, would you. I was not expecting that. That was rude. Uh, cat? Okay, this one. This one's not bad. Uh, oh, there we go. Okay. So, I guess it was Pat? Okay, well, at least we can get to the... Oh, okay, so Pat, let's try that one. Oh. Okay, so we gotta jiggle them and then pat them from the looks of it. Okay, excuse you, excuse you! Okay, jiggle it. Okay, ow! I think I'm gonna have to spare one of them to get rid of all these tumbleweeds. Ow! Okay, now we pat. Okay, this is getting annoying. Okay, okay. Okay. Good? Okay. And spare that one. Now we only have one to deal with. Come on. Okay. Wee, wee. And then Pat. Okay, we're back to Tumbleweed Land. It looks like you can just stay in the bottom for those mostly. Okay. Let's take a look at our box. Trail mix. This is all healing stuff, so. Yeah. I'll just keep it for now. Because all this stuff is just stuff I don't really need. Oh, come on, man. Yep, yep, mm hmm. 
Okay, it says this theory out. Oh. Okay, no, you can't just stay in the bottom, it looks like. I mean, for the most part, you can. Like, let's try to... Oh. Okay. It sort of works. Okay, nothing here. Okay. Let's go then. Oh, box! There are some packing peanuts. Oh, I have too much, in too many items. Uh, what heals me left? I think it's a lemonade, right? Seven HP. Yeah, okay. I'll get, I'll get rid of the. Actually, you know what? I'll use the lemonade. Actually, no. I'll keep it, just in case I might need some more healing items. And you know what? Dang it. I was gonna get rid of the candy corn. That way, I can have space for two stuff, just in case I find something else. I wonder if there's any side quests here too. Oh, that was a faster attack. Oh, it's this one again. Get ready. Yeah, I was ready for you that time. Okay, so yeah, I'll put the candy corn in there. So now we have some extra space. Okay. Are these like bullets or something? I really hope those are actual peanuts and like not ideal for preventing damage or destruction of fragile stomach contents. Uh, is it, I mean, it heals some good HP, I guess, but what the poop, man? Don't eat. Don't eat packing peanuts, whatever you do, okay? Kids who are probably. I don't know. I don't know if kids watch this or not. Oh! You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time! Mail time! I sure you hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Sweet, we got some mail. Oh, we got two. Let's read the slurpy one. <clears throat> Greetings, my savior and fond acquaintance. I would like to extend further gratitude for your assistance. If it weren't for you, my papelier would surely be permanently attached to that pole. Oh, it's this guy. Thanks to you, I made it home in time for supper. I must say, Mother really outdid herself this time. The food was exquisite. Many thanks. Sincerely, your Slurpee. Alright, cool. And Mo. I think I remember this one. If you're reading this, it means you had the pleasure of meeting me. I'll make this snappy. You're not gonna believe it. I'm selling a new premium product for half off. Yeah, he was the dude who gave me the pops. And what we are saying, I would gladly pay full price for your products. I appreciate that, I really do. But this ain't the time for high prices. Just find my stand and I'll give you the juicy details. Huh? Where is my stand? I don't even know myself. Should probably go find that. Good luck, Mo. Nice. So like, I'm assuming there's no more letters, right? Uh, yeah, okay, no. Alright. I wonder how they're giving me mail, like... Alert! Warning sign ahead. Warning! Danger sign ahead. Who keeps wasting all these signs, man? Before it was like, next sign, 10 steps or whatever, and now it's just warning! Warning sign ahead. Should've been warning, dumb tumbleweed man ahead. Dang it! Nye. 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 Uh, no, 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 Come at me, boy. Nope, just there. And there we go. And this scarf is really nice, though. I'm like back to 20 HP already. <coughs> I have a feeling this is gonna be useful for like pacifist runs. 
Though I have a feeling some armors would be better for genocide. Okay, nothing. Oh! I was just making sure there wasn't anything. Oh my god. Stop attacking me! Stop it! No! No! Owie! You poop. Uh, no! Nope. You out, oh, fudgy. Fudgy! There we go. Huh. I was perfectly fine there. Oh, wait, no. Ah, oh, I was to. Dang it. I keep forgetting it like keeps you at the previous option you chose. So like I gotta do that. There we go. Uh new new Okay. Not bad. Yep. 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 There you go. Can I go in here? Oh! I'm sorry? <clears throat> oh, I think I get it. I need to be, like, behind stuff. If I also want to look at stuff. Like this. I can't. Okay. Uh, so it like, looks like being in front of stuff helps, too. Never mind. I don't know why it helped that time. Okay, let's go. See, like that. That helped. There's also stuff down there, but I can't get down there. Oh, wait, yes, again. Go, go, go! Ah! He's gonna go check down there. There was a giant X on the wall down there. And there's a... Oh, there's, like, there's somebody down there, too. Hey, no! Okay. Now I go down. Oh. Nothing here. Okay. Hello, friend. I'm not up to anything suspicious, okay? There is no treasure behind this wall, okay? Don't rat me out, okay? This is my TNT, okay? I didn't steal it from my brother at the mines, okay? This X was here before I arrived, okay? I'm just waiting at the storm, okay? <laughs> Get off my case! Please. Oh. Okay. Uh, this paint is still wet. Is that really it? Am I supposed to do something? I don't know. Anyway, back to this thing. Oh, I'll go too high up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Right here. Uh, here. Oh wait, this is down here. Am I supposed to be down here? I don't know, but I'm going to. Oh, the sandstone's still here. Great. Okay, so just stand on these parts and you should be fine, I guess. There's a person up there too. I'm going everywhere. I'm gonna explore. <coughs> I'm sure I'm lucky all this stuff is here conveniently. I can't... I can't stand storm this sandstorm. Bruh, really? Even sands wouldn't be... I don't know, maybe sands would've liked it. Is that all here? Oh. Okay, there's just two separate ways you can go. Okay. That's cool. Okay. I just gotta be careful, I guess. Come on, here we go. And here. Oh, it's another friend. 
Oh gosh! Oh wait, is this what's causing the sandstorm? There we go. Bro, what's your damage? Can a monster cool off every now and then? You're such a killjoy, bro. You can't turn it back on. Built, built to order by Hotland Mechanics. Super seal of Hotland quality. The seal is drawn in permanent marker. Oh, I can't turn it back on. Sorry, dude. Your face didn't look like it was enjoying it. <laughs> Ooh, a tree. Howdy. Strange sight, huh? Who knew something could actually grow here? Anyway, great job so far. This place is so much more treacherous than Snowden. You're telling me. Keep it up, Clover. Will do. Can I not look at the tree? Or would I look at the twee? Okay, well... Ooh, this way. Oh, this looks the right way. This way. Oh. Oh, I, did I go the right way by accident? Oh, wait, no, I recognize that music. What the poop? <laughs> Bam! Guess who it is? That's right, it's Mo. Long time no see. How have you been? Don't answer that. We don't have the time. I'm here to make you a brand new offer. A hot climate calls for a hot item. Check it. That's right. I went all out this time. This is a real delicacy around here. Water. It's called water. Catchy name, I know. Looking for you. I'm giving out free samples. Want a glass? Sure. Coming right up. That's a bucket. <laughs> did it just... Did it evaporate? One moment. It evaporated. Is it that hot here? If you know your bow mo, you know I've planned all of that. <laughs> Here's my real product, iced tea. It's like the sequel to water, way better. Now, I'll be real with you. The tea doesn't have ice in it, per particularly. It started as a glass of ice, but it melted. All I had to do was throw a tea bag in there and wham! Don't worry, it tastes better this way. Here's what I got. Iced tea, sea tea, green tea. Um, I'll take... Ice. Okay, so this wasn't the right way, good. My inventory is full though, so if I have to get rid of an item, then I'm doomed. I mean, if I get really damaged and bad, I can heal myself with it. I'm gonna cut. Oh, I forgot to read what he was saying. Shoot. I keep forgetting he says different stuff each time you save. New enemy? New one. Sir Slither has a proposition. Real. Oh, okay. Trying to get a leg up in the world. What's your story, Scandal Secrets? Oh! Oh, how's. Oh, how. Oh, how. Oh, Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, belief? You buy into sort of those fancy words. Something feels off. Yes, we're gonna go far. You would. Should I not have done that? Oh, fudge. Didn't they come out through those ways too? <laughs> what the fear? Can I do it again? No. I knew you'd see things my way, human. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to do that then. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Okay, okay. Uh, Dow. He seems displeased. Come on, mate. Don't leave me out to dry. Okay, so don't believe him or else he, like, clouds your vision. Bad snake. Challenge? Oh, this and that, odds and ends, you know. Ow. Rude. Now that we believe? No? I don't know what to do with the snake! 
This snake is weird. Do I keep doubting? Ow. Maybe we keep challenging. I'm an excellent travel companion, I am. I really don't know what to do with this guy. Ow, I'm gonna end up dying to him, aren't I? Ah. No? What do you want? Ow. From me. Keep doubting, maybe. Okay, I suck at this. Oh, I managed to not get hit by the little floofies. Doubt again? You refuse to let Slytherin Slither become a main character? <laughs> Enjoy the snake-sized hole in your heart. Okay, so we gotta keep doubting him. Okay, okay, got it now. Ow. Good grief. Oh, now what? That was anticlimactic. Was something supposed to happen? Oh! Now I see. But joke's on you, I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, joke's on me, I can't go that way. I guess that's because... Okay. Oh, jeez! Okay. I'm just touching it. Okay. I suck at this, I know. Shut up. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Oh, I, that's a that's just a tiny hole. Okay. Good grief, mate. Okay, here we go, here we go. And here we go. Okay. And here we go. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I did What was that? Oh shoot. Cactony comes to share his pain. Oh god. Lacks physical attempt. Ugh. I'm burning up. I guess we gotta touch him, huh? Oh jeez. Not too bad. Okay. Touch. Does this mean you care about me? Oh, what the- what the poop is this? What the poop is this? What the poop? Green. Green is good. Oh, there you go. You just gotta touch him once. Okay, so that's not that too bad. Let's go- Oh, hello. Watch it! I have places to be. Get a call about a job in Snow- Oh, got a call about a job in Snowden. I was supposed to be there yesterday, but the walk- The walk is really far. Wasn't feeling up to it. Oh well, on I go. Alright. We spot dark dislodged stone among this pile of rocks. Dang it. I guess I am pretty low on health. Uh, what's the thing that heals me less? 12 HP. 14. Lol. Love it. The puck? It might be the corn dog, honestly. 13. 10. Okay, packing peanuts might be the way to go. Aside from the taste, texture, and potential health risk, they're not that bad. Okay. Flint. Oh, dang it! That's a weapon thing anyway. Ah. I mean, that'll be useful to know when I do genocide. East mines. A heap of fallen rocks blocks your path. What an inconvenience. Oh, will see the box. A set of cubbies dividing the miner's personal belongings. You notice a discarded belt buckle lying in one of the compartments. Take it? Okay. You borrowed a steel belt buckle. I mean, if someone left it here, clearly they forgot about it. Defense 7. Ooh. 
I'll keep the scarf for now. Oh, dang, I, I, was, I thought I was gonna run out of room in this box. I think the inventory just gets bigger by the looks of it. A set of cubbies dividing the miners' personal belongings. A bow tie, a snow globe, trivia books, cobwebs, all very useful. Several racks lined the wall ready to bear various pickaxes and hard hats. Oh, maybe there is someone here and I just stole their thing. Whoops. Wait. Which way is the right way and which way is the wrong way? Oh, person. Hello, friend. As a slime, I'm outraged. What? In case of fire, use stairs. H how am I going to get to my station now? The elevator door is jammed, man. Jammed! piece of wood is lodged in between the elevator doors. What could fix this elevator? Oh, I need... Okay. So I gotta come back here... <clears throat> I gotta come back here... Oh, is this an axe? No? Do I even have anything in here? That's it. I don't think so. Oh, I guess I gotta come back later. In case the conveyor belt ceases to work, fix it. <laughs> Conveyor belt sending several rocks and gems to the sorting machine. A large dirty sticker can be seen on the side. Assembled by Steamworks Engineers 20XX. Okay, cool. Oh, hello. What do you want? Elevator. It's jammed again? I swear, nothing ever works here. I'm busy, kid. Like, fine, I'll lend you my pickaxe for a price. Yeah, I have the money, should thing. Very nice. Here you go. Keep it. I don't need it no more. Because I have a spare. <laughs> so now we can fix the elevator. Hello, friends. I got something for you. Man. The pickaxe broke. Oh, what the? I didn't mean to go in. I wanted to explore some more. <laughs> Man, the inside of the elevator looks fancy for the outside being made of wood. You good there, dude? <laughs> He's just like, man, I'm in the elevator. This is a long elevator. There we go. Oh, I can't go back? Oh, I can. Oh, shoot! Nah. At least I get to explore the other side more. Oh, at least the ride up is faster. That's the time I'm over overjoyed. Good job, buddy. Okay. Is there anything else here? Oh, this guy. Whistling. Okay. Oh, that's it? I came back up there for that, okay. Glad I did. Really glad. Alright. Oh, maybe it's taking me up, not down. But at least it doesn't take forever again. Thank goodness. Golly, that emblems on these minor uniforms are very interesting. Guess I'm the boss around here. Turn aside, you got some smarts. Fix that elevator with ease. I just hacked a piece of wood. Proud of ya. Ah, Flowey's proud of me. I didn't need the sign. In case of water, swim. Okay. Well, there's water, but I'm gonna walk across the- Hello? Bowel charges near you. A fragile fa facade, fa facade, I guess. I'm way stronger than you think. Oh gosh, it's building up. It's filling up. Hey, this isn't a bowl. This is a cup. Okay, here we go. Um, clean. Okay, no. You're not tough enough to lay a hand on me. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, what's that? What's the saying that they say? The bull riders, um... Uh, 
forgot what it was. Um, taunt? Watch your mouth. Okay. Oh gosh, this is Sans. Okay, but this isn't too bad. At least it's not crazy like Sans's version. <laughs> Console. But I, I am tough. Was it like on delay, on delay, or something like that? I don't know what it was. He's cool the way he is. You mean it? Yeah, now stop attacking me, please. Okay, yeah, this isn't too bad. Uh, I guess now I can clean him, maybe, because, like, we're nice to him, so he's, like, cool with us, so we can, like, clean him. Uh, nope. 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 Okay, now. There we go. <clears throat> I did not could reflect so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Now please stop trying to kill me. <clears throat> okay, well, at least we know how to deal with him. Uh-oh, puzzle time. <clears throat> hey, just in time. I'm sure you noticed all this mining mumbo-jumbo lying around, yeah? Well, corporate said we have to solve puzzles as as we work to exercise the old noggin. They even made the foreman lock the door until work's done. Pretty unnecessary, if you ask me. Seeing as I'm the only permanent small... Seeing as I'm my... English! Seeing as I'm on my permanent smoke break, could you solve it for me? You look like a smart kid. Give it a shot. Okay. Well, I already got this one down. And then this one. There we go. This is easy. I'm surprised you. I'm surprised like you needed my help with this, honestly. Nice. What do you guys say about that? Great job. I know you could do it, kid. Won't be another job until tomorrow. I can spend the rest of my. Work day doing absolutely nothing. Oh wait, I already was. Right, buddy. Oh, hello, friend. I lost all my TNT. I had to tell the foreman. Oh. He'll fire me, I'm sure, but it's my fault. I will go tell him right now, but I lost my hard hat as well. I can't protect my dome from the hazardous rocks outside. Today isn't my day. I'm assuming... Safety jacket hangs the wall. Can I put it on? Defense 6. Uh, I mean... I already have something that gives me 6 defense, so I don't know why I would want this. Oh, here's the hard hat. Hey, what the... Hey. Why can't I... What? Hold on, is it because I'm carrying- can I not pick it up because I'm- steal minecart. Hold on, let me move out of this room real quick and then come back. There we go. Maybe I have to push it to him. Yeah, here we go. Here's your hard hat. I work at the mine to provide for us. He doesn't have a job, but he just gets into mischief. But he's happy, so I'm happy. How will I be able to look him in the face after I get fired? Yeah, about that. He stole your TNT. Can I not pick up the hard hat? I get that I'm carrying too much. I might just eat one of my items just to see. Oh, there you go. You you found my hat. You are a kind soul. I don't have anything to give you, but I am internally grateful. You got eternal gratitude. I know I said I would tell the foreman, but I'm pretty scared. A few more minutes in my uniform won't hurt. Okay. Well, you have fun with that, I guess. I guess I gotta talk to his brother then. Caution, falling rocks. What the poop? What is this nonsense? 
Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Ah shoot. Ah! I'm so used to the. Dang it. I'm so used to like Delta where your soul becomes red and you can just move around in the stuff. Just move, just move, just move, just move. Good grief. Oh. It appears they can handle more than letters. Okay. Cool. Hello. I just adore mining. Mine, 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 day and night. Gonna find a whole bunch of sparkly gems. Oh, whoa. There's a lot of people here. Uh, before... Jesus, so much stuff. Where are you? Welcome to the mining co mines. I wasn't expecting visitors. If you have an inquiry, please take it up with my assistant. Gooder, please, we've been married for 27 years. You can handle the questions yourself. S certainly, dear. Ahem. If you're gonna ask about the hot conditions, I'm s ordering more glasses, s something cold packs later today. If you're gonna ask about the falling rocks, I'm gonna investigate it soon. No need to worry, everything is fine. So, what is it? Elevator. The elevator was broken? That can't be right. We refurbished it last month. The company was given a repair budget for the whole mine. Turns out marble walls and gold tiling adds up quick. We ran out. Gorgeous baseboard job though. Totally worth it. I take great pride in these mines. Been supervising them for around 30 years. Here every single day. I did take a week off when I, my kiddo was born. But was right back, right, right back at it when the time came. Stranded, the progress report for that week was above average. If you ever see my kid out there, tell him that their old man misses them. Okay, I don't know who your kid is, okay. Hello there. My name is Angie. I'm the receptionist of Mining Co. How may I help you? Hazards. Yes, I am aware of the dangers that lie outside the mines. I could investigate, but... My husband, Gilbert, needs to take more in initiative. I asked him to do it, let's see, six hours ago? Eh, <sighs> baby steps. Anyways, I've heard that several hazards have been seen around the dunes. I hope it isn't those wild east monsters pulling pranks. Uh-oh. They tend to step out of line every now and then. I can't help but feel they're a bad influence on... Moray. Mar 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 yeah. Ah, these matters don't pertain to you, I apologize. This business is more important than it may seem. It isn't easy for monsters to find a job these days. For that reason, we hire anyone who applies. All except for children. I think that's illegal. <laughs> you have a good journey. Heard it could get rocky. Haha, <laughs> good one, dear. I've been waiting to say that. That's my Angie. Sans would be proud. It's been two days without a workplace incident. Cool. There's a shelf lined with several books. Some educational, some recreational. A book titled Gemstone Fever catches your eye. Read it? Okay. The underground has been th the home to thousands of gemstones. Yet only four types have been discovered. The Swilter Stone, yellow. This stone emits immense heat, sun depending on its uh, some depending on its size. It is also the brightest stone, frequently used to illuminate various underground locations. The Glacial Stone, blue. Oh, Glacial Stone. Seriously? I couldn't say Glacial. Opposite of the Swilter Stone. Um, emits a frigid temperature. This stone is abundant in cooler areas such as Snowden and Waterfall. The Aromatist Stone? Jeez. This rare stone smells like apples. That is all. The Pink Stone. Hue in the name. No trait for this stone has been discovered as of publication. You sift through the book and catch a couple more facts. With the temperature stones having higher quantities in certain areas, they can be a large factor in determining their location's climate. Gemstones do not have much monetary worth within the underground economy. Instead, they are often utilized for their traits, jewelry, or other decoration. The largest gemstone to be discovered is located in the dunes. It is approximated to be as big as 10,000 hard hats. You close the book and put it back. You are not dizzy with gemstone fever. <laughs> So I'm assuming if we find the pink one, we'll be like super famous. I'm assuming these are the yellow ones, actually. What's up? 
You visiting, or are you lost? Ah, well, there's not much to see. The cave's a real mess. She does contain some beautiful stones, though, I'll tell you that. Hope you enjoy your visit. My job is to send all gemstones we find to this floor down to the sorting machine. From there, I'm not quite sure what they do. Or where they go. That's the, that's the problem with this place. You have to figure most things out yourself. It's an honest living, though. Oh, I know a fun activity for you on your visit. There's a fortune teller, fortune teller set up in town. I visit her every week to tell about my potential future. Or, to hear about my potential future. Give her some business if you pass by the area, okay? My break's almost over, as it seems. Oh well. I guess we're gonna run into that fortune teller, probably. Hey, Flowey. Oh, there we go. Howdy! This cave sure is gl ginormous. I hope this rail leads to an exit, because it's getting stuffy in here. Enjoy the ride, pal! Oh, am I gonna actually ride on the- uh, Oh, looks like I am. An empty cart sits in the rails. Hop in. <laughs> Wee! Minecraft! Oh. Pretty. Look at all the pretty lights. Man, I, heard, I sure hope nothing bad happens. Like, you know, this place breaking and me falling. Oh, we survived. That's, con that's like, you know, surprising. Hello. Hey, thanks for saving me back there. Now I can stand in one place at a higher, ev at higher elevation. Elevation, elevation. Work is rad. Okay. Oh, another puzzle. Okay. Crate only contains a few peanuts. Nothing useful. The second ground case minecart you've seen today. What luck! You hear gooey noises coming from the crates. Ew. Okay, so blue's down here, so we're gonna when I get that there. Okay, and... Oh, what? Huh. Okay. There we go, and... Okay, good, we can get the blue. Let's move. Okay, nice. Okay, now we want green. So... Uh. Oh, what? There we go. Then it goes around in a circle to here, then here. Uh, um. Oh, and then there, and then there, and then there. Oh shoot! Wait, what? No. Okay, then around here it goes into a circle like this. Good grief. Did we actually encounter a hard puzzle? <clears throat> Hold on, let me try doing yellow first then. Because I think like, okay, yeah, and then... There we go. Okay, so if I'm right, this should be good. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> then we go like that, like that. Like that. There we go. Okay, now we gotta get green. So, I, it might be helpful to like start from the thing first, like this. And then... This, maybe? This. Aha! Okay, so it's kind of helpful to start from like the end first and then work your way to the beginning. <laughs> nice. I am a puzzle pro. Papyrus would be proud. Is a basketball thingy here? 
some stale fruit cake. Dang it. Uh, what was the thing that healed less? 12 HP. I think the corn dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, how much is the fruit cake giving? Okay. Anything that gives me like 20 HP. Oh, hello. Hello, visitor. Did you venture through the whole mine? What a journey. For your troubles, I'll let you in a little secret. <clears throat> you see, we aren't mining for gemstones at all. Those things are everywhere, practically worthless. <clears throat> We're actually mining for minerals like this one in front of me. They're used for building materials around the underground, you see. They're also very... Did you... You saw nothing. I'm famished. Boop, what the poop? Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm. Safety jacket. You go in there. Okay, cool. So the inventory just gets bigger. <clears throat> Up we go. I'm wondering if... I kind of want to go back. Oh, I can't go. Oh, he's again. Okay, nice. Because I want to talk to the dude's brother with the TNT. Just to see if we can, like, you know, get him to, you know, see if we can, like, see anything. Because, like, since we talked to his brother, maybe we can, like, talk to him. So, like, yeah. I'll cut ahead when I get back there, because it might take a while. Okay, here we are. Let's see if talking to this duder will, you know, do anything. What? Really? What? I seriously just came all the way over. I don't have time for you. But I did, did I seriously just come all the way out here for nothing? <clears throat> for nothing, I meant. My throat, sorry. Ugh, great, great. Glad to know that that was for nothing. Great. Super glad. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not glad at all. I'm really... I'm an angie boy. I is angie. <clears throat> he was hoping I would get something, but not. I had to go all the way back to the mine. Uh, I mean, I guess, technically, given the hard hat was a side quest, but I don't know. I thought I could talk to him, maybe. Maybe, like, by then, he would have blown up the hole and, like... I don't know, maybe the pink gemstone would have been in there. Well, I'll see you guys when I get back to the mine, or the elevator thing. Okay, so I'm back where we left off, so now let's continue our journey. Hey, Flowey. Howdy. Jeez, the underground's bigger than I thought, huh? Gee, would you look at that. I can almost see the king's castle from here. Heh. <laughs> Asgore. Monsters shower him with praise, but it's totally overblown. See, he's what they call a boss monster. It means he has special traits, more power than others. <coughs> Sands on the tilt. <coughs> When you take him down, his soul will stay intact. But only for a moment before... BOOM! You win. I heard that guy's immortal too. Can't age a second. I mean, to be honest, Turiel and Asgore have been around for like... How long now? At least... Not anymore. Oh. What? Wild, huh? 
Boss monsters know how to cling to life, that's for sure. Hey, don't let that info scare ya. Immortal doesn't mean invincible. And still, a human soul is more powerful than a boss monster soul. Asgore may seem intimidating, but that's all show. Deep down he's afraid of you, a true pushover. Anyway, just thought I'd prepare my pal for what's to come. I mean, I guess some of what he's saying is true. I wanna go this way. It's a classic rock dropper 900. Te technology's amazing. So these things have been dropping rocks on- piece of paper is tabled to the machine. Built in- or built to order by Hotland Mechanics. North Star. So they've been dropping rocks on me. I, again, we all know how this is gonna end, you know, with how Clover stories that ends. It's not gonna be happy. Oh look, a uh, fake sun. Man, sometimes you forget you're underground when you see stuff like this, but then you look up and you see like the top of the caves and stuff. Just how huge is this mountain? Oh shoot, this is sands all over again. Just gonna... Did I hear someone use their menu? Oh. Who the poop are you? Halt! I, El Balador. I know. I've tasked myself with confrontation. The air is too much quiet, much too dreary. You make no noise when you move. You lack rhythm, feeling, fervor. If I did not know any better, I might have mistaken you for a sentinel of silence. Oh. <laughs> oh. When Desabat made us a sentinel. No, no. This will not do. You must prove to me that you have what it takes. What it takes to live a life of richness. I challenge you to dance. Uh-oh. I'm not even on the thing correctly, dude. To truly find oneself, they must ignite a passion within. Let us duel! What is this? Oh, don't tell me this is what I think it is. I want to see your spirit of fire! One and two and... Oh, Z! Oh! Okay. I guess I gotta do stuff, so... Twirl? He appreciates the effort. Ah, that was much too simple! Let us try this! Okay. Okay. This is gonna get intense, I can already feel it. The sounds of thousand trumpets echo around you. Uh, smile? Okay. Heating up! There we go, okay. This is weird. Okay, um... We gotta do it again? The passion, it grows! I guess we just gotta keep doing this. Okay, okay, we're getting it. Somewhat. Just wait for it to start going crazy. Uh, Balador glides around the dance floor of ease. Yeah, um, smile again. Aha, yes! This is what I live for! Oh, shoot. Okay. Whew, okay. Jeez. You feel the rhythm in your soul. Okay, cool. Troll again then? Nope, okay. A life thought dance is empty, I say. Ow. Oh, fudge. Okay. It's getting faster. This is bad. Can I smile again? Oh, let's just check it real quick. The definition of passion. Okay. I didn't say the dance can also take life away. I do not see what they mean. It means you're... Um, 
I keep wanting to like use the arrows to select the new, select the middle one, but you just gotta let go to select middle. I might as well take something. Uh, hop, hop. Okay. A world of solitude and silence? That is not for me. The underground is much too depressing, you see. Yo, 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 yo! What is this, Friday Night Funkin'? What happens if I just stare? We are trapped to find a barrier of no hope for freedom. A sad, sad situation. But it's not sad for I. Dude! What the poop, man? Uh, well, I guess this is gonna be a good excuse for me to start using my healing items. We must make do with what we have. Find time for activities that makes us happy. I am not going because happiness is not a quiet virtue. I often encourage monsters and hope that it is contagious. I mean, I appreciate you trying to help the monsters and stuff, but you're nearly killing me. Okay. Got that one, kind of. Good grief. Even a monster, even if monster kind is cursed to this grim state, we must stick it out to the end. All the way up to the final, or finale, I guess, because that's how people like to say it. Dude. Oh, the music stopped. Never mind. Oh, pressing Z early also hurts you, I think. Please tell me it's done. Are you done? Please? Oh, thank goodness. Oh. 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 You have proven your passion, little one. I apologize if the dance was strenuous on your health. Sometimes having fun means a few doctor's visits. However, it seems that you do not love dance as much as I. Yeah, it's deadly for me, apparently. Perhaps you find happiness through other means. I have never considered that for quiet monsters such as you. I keep forgetting that in pacifist runs, because you're so nice, people sometimes mistake you for one of them. Ah well, I at least hope your day has been brightened. I wish you a fulfilling journey. Farewell. Flower, you need your save file. 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 Ugh, forget it, there's probably one up ahead. It's a long way back anyway. <laughs> I'm not gonna walk... At least there better be a save. Can I go up here? No? Okay. No save. Ooh, what's this? Dimensional. Ooh! Sweet! I was wondering if we are gonna get- I think I mentioned like if we were gonna get something like a dimensional box, like when Alpha's upgraded our phone in Undertale. But no, we got a dimensional satchel now. Perfect. So this is before- this is really a long- this, how- Like how far back in, back in time are we? Oh shoot, we're back here. Okay, um, save file! Howdy! Looks like we're back on solid ground. That mine sure was a detour. What a bunch of slackers. Anyway, let's keep up the pace, buddy. Playground. This way, I wanna go this way. What? Gift shop. Ooh. Step right up. We got a blowout sale going on. It may look like we're almost sold out, but quite the contrary. I was about to say you barely have anything in here. We owner ordered one stock of one stock once one stock of mug. Jeez. It has been on this trusty shelf for 13 years. Demand is depressingly low, so take advantage of this offer now. 40 Okay. Wait, seriously? I mean, yes, of course! Aha! <laughs> Go fetch it off the shelf and I'll ring you up. Oh, this is gonna, I'm gonna get attacked, aren't I? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we're too short. Oh, oh, Clover. Oh, that's not how you take a mug. Enjoy your shards of glass. No charge anymore, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, sweet. You break it, you do not buy it. Oh, it's ammo. Yeah, I figured. Five. Restores two HP after- Ooh. Okay, that could be useful for a genocide run. Okay, what's in here now? Oh. Oh, the rock's cleared away. Nice. Guess that's for, like, backtracking if we ever need to again. Oh, that's cool. Hello. Sigh. This playground used to be fun. Ever since my playmates stopped showing up, it's become boring. I wonder where they went. I'm assuming I had to find their playmate. Now. Great. Okay. I don't remember if any of the characters back there are. We'll have to see. What is this? Nothing? Okay. Oh, flowers. Oh! Violetta passively approaches from the flower bed. Okay. Not one for conversation. Is it sorry, human? Oh, 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 hello. Uh, I don't think Flowey would appreciate this. Um, do we have to flirt with this one? I don't know. I'm gonna encourage first. Alright, here, here goes nothing. Oh, jeez. Oh, that doesn't mean attack! Ow. Oh, there you go. Okay, so we didn't have to flirt with this one. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave the flirting to Frisk. Oh, hey, Flowey. Howdy! Gee, looks like we're getting close to an exit from this place. Aside from those mines, time has been pretty friendly to us. Should be a simple journey from here on- Clover? Great. Oh! Clover! You're alive! You're here! You're... here! I can't believe myself! I left you all alone in that cave! You had to bread the dunes by yourself! I'm a horrible friend! They trust me to be your royal guard and I left the child for dead! Like, what is wrong with me? Oh, it's okay. Uh, I didn't even read that, I was just pressing Z to advance the dialogue, but I think I pressed the option. Thank you. You're clearly able to take care of yourself. The crash just happened so fast. When I saw what had happened to you, I panicked. I flew over the sandy landscape and found this town. I soon realized that I couldn't risk getting other monsters involved. They might have questioned me, and I cannot. And I cannot keep secrets. They could have turned us into, into. Uh, they could have turned us into the more sinister world guards, like Undyne. So I uh sat by a cactus for an hour, thinking of what a piece of garbage I am. I then got the courage to travel back to you and apologize, but. Here you are! So, I'm deeply slow sorry. That's cool. Thank you, Clover. You're very kind. Anyway, we should move on. I decided that I won't leave your side now. I'll follow wherever you lead. You just endured some crazy underground shenanigans, though. I don't understand if you need to rest for a bit. If you want to hang around, that's great. I didn't get to sightsee at all on the way over here. Well then, friend, shall we be off? Oh, sweet. Ooh. What happens if I go save? Can, like... Can, would they interact with Flowey? <laughs> that would be funny. Okay. Oh, what? Oh. Flowey doesn't show up anymore. I guess he doesn't want his presence known. Which I guess makes sense. Alright, let's go. Oh gosh, there's so much stuff here now. It seems to be like Deltru, and are we both gonna be able to go into battles now? Can't say this is how I thought my day would end up. Meeting a human, visiting a new place. Couple checks off the bucket list for sure. Are we- did they say the same thing or- Okay, yeah. I guess like- d Does she say something new in each room? There's so much to see in this town. I'm getting some strong Honeydew Resort vibes. After I get tired of keeping the peace every day, I may move here. A mighty fine retirement plan, yeah? Welcome to Oasis Valley. Home to the largest body of water in the dunes. Oh, cool. Oh, I didn't have to do that again. 
This monster is too busy quenching the thirst to speak. With eye catching water like that, who could resist? Your reflection sparkles and distorts in the pool of water. You notice a high-tech filtration system keeping it drinkable. Cool. I, no, I wanted to talk to this one. Hello, darling. How are you doing today? It's a lovely day, ain't it? Is it always this hot and humid, you think? I just moved here from Snowden, so I'm not sure yet. But a local like you would know, right? I got a question for you, actually. Do you develop some sort of spectrum of hot around here? See, like... Not just hot, but blazing hot versus sweltering hot. You know what? You look busy. We'll talk later or something. I'd call today blistering hot, I think. Or is that too unoriginal? Maybe something more interesting like... Pickling hot. That makes no sense, actually. So maybe not then. I'll have to think about this some more. <laughs> Wait, do you know my nephew? Adorable. Where's pink gloves? You look just like this nice little buddy who he talked about coming around. So tell me, how's my little wubby dubby doing? He never writes me anymore. Pink gloves. Oh, is, it, is he the person that we gave the mitten back to? Says it's too embarrassing or whatnot. I'm not that embarrassing of, of an aunt, you know? I'm not an embarrassing as my sister, I'll tell you that. She just goes on and on. My little smooky bear. Have you seen him so precious? Makes me sick. Failed anting. 101 if you ask me. I just like to talk about my little snoodlekin sometimes. Is that so bad? I'm sorry. What are we talking about? Are we okay. And here. Oh. Hello. Visiting from the wild east, are you? I must say, I haven't seen your face around these parts. Welcome to my abode, young one. As you may notice, I have a knack for the preservation of life. Grass is very rare here. For any to grow, there must be a source of water close by or amongst the ground. I try my best to keep my own little patch happy. It's one of my many hobbies. The dunes didn't used to be like this. Rivers, trees, and plenty of grass painted the area, lush and beautiful. This was years ago, of course. The memories often escape me. It's hard to blame anyone for the loss of those things. Poor miners had no idea such a large stone could kill an ecosystem. Oh? No one did. It was a new discovery at the time. I suppose it was nature's will. I began a small project self of here. Planted a sapling in an empty shelter. The townsfolk and I watch over it, giving it water every day. If we're lucky, it will grow into something wonderful. A glimpse of days gone by. Okay. Above the table is a painting of large of a large swelter stone. It's almost as if the heat leap leaps right off the canvas. What do you have to say about this? I apologize for not talking with the residents more. With my bird brain, who knows what might slip out. Oh yeah, you might give out that I'm human. Oh. You found 30 gold in one of the... No, oh, I'm not gonna steal money. Now, if this was genocide, I'd obviously do that. What's in here? Oh, is this a snake purse? Oh, this is the fortune teller, right? Hello, traveler. Would you be interested in having your fortune told? Only 5G per fortune. Now, you may be thinking that price is a little low. What quality fortune from an experienced fortune teller costs 5 gold? Well, your, suspic your suspicions would be correct. See, I'm a fortune teller in training, so I'm selling tiny fortunes. Practice, you see. So, can I interest you in a bite-sized fortune? For yeah, sure. Let us see what the world has in store for you. Oh. Hmm, oh dear. The fortune seems to indicate you're in for a tumble. Oh, no, no, no. It looks like a big one, too. It will happen very soon. Hang on. Oh, tumbleweed. I guess I got a little excited and missed the second part. Sorry for the scare. Looks like everything is fine after all. <laughs> She's talking about how Asgore is going to steal my soul. Ah. Oh, I bet I can tell you tell your fortune, Clover. Yes. Hmm. I see you with a brand new hat. One that just screams, I'm a human. <laughs> Kidding, by the way. Your hat's plenty cool as it is. Tiny fortune still only. So if I get another one, is it going to be the same thing? Hmm. Oh, yes. Here we go. A very specific reading, too. These are rare. In approximately two minutes, it'll be six. Well, I hope that knowledge is helpful. Okay. 
Maybe if you keep talking to this person, they'll eventually give you like a useful fortune. I'll do it one more time. And let's see. I might come back later and see. Gah! I have never seen a fortune this dark before. Oh. I, I Are you sure you want to hear it? What, what am I saying? You have a right to hear it. Um, hold on. Let me steal myself first. Okay. I see death in your future. Oh. Uh, but do not worry too much. There is no time given and well, everyone dies eventually. Maybe I am seeing a hundred years from now or two hundred. That is even better. Oh, there it is. Yep, mm-hmm. Yeah, Asgore. Asgore's gonna kill me. Okay, one more. Hmm. Oh, I got something. Oh, goody. It is you. I see you and... I see you and... Oh, this is exciting. You are walking. Walking past a big, clear water cooler in... Oh, wait, hold on. You don't wear stripes, do you? Uh, she's talking about Frisk. At, at least I think so. But yeah, because we walked by a water cooler in Hotland at, as in Undertale. That doesn't look like you at all. Sorry, no charge on that one because it wasn't about you. Okay, cool. Wait, so is this going to be it then? It's part of my training. You may come back tomorrow. Oh. Okay. So that's all the fortunes then. That was funny though. Frisk, walking by the water cooler. Uh, but dude, I think at this point it's we are gonna die at the end of this, aren't we? Pinch, pinch. <laughs> Beware of my pincers, traveler. I do not have any treasure hidden within my shell. Why do the monsters keep asking me that? We are not caged within these fences, traveler. It is a choice. It is nice to live in a familiar place with the pack. It is also nice to be fed and taken pictures of. Okay. I wonder, does she still say the same thing about the town? Yeah, okay. Where are you? Hey, dude. I know you'll say no, but I'm selling free hugs. Darn it, you already read my sign, didn't you? I hate myself. <laughs> I'm closing shop. Now, come on, I'll give you a hug. I'd probably kill you. Not intentionally, of course. That'd be a crime, and I hate crime. Oh, great. You might be a criminal. Now you definitely won't hug me. Just walk away. It would be better for... You still want a hug? Bro, you need to learn when to let go. If you don't leave me alone, the hugs are no longer free. In fact, they're very expensive hugs. Whatever amount of money you own, they're like triple that. I'm honestly not sorry. Okay, I'm kind of still want a hug, but I'm in <laughs> this way too deep. Ignore my existence, please. Oh man. <laughs> oh, there's some hopscotch down here. A sand igloo. What do you have to say about this? Look at that little thing. Trying its best to grow big and strong, I bet. Oh, this must be the tree that dude was talking about. A sapling sits within the ground, new to life and unsure of itself. It is full of potential, but has yet to reach it. One day, it might. Okay. I wonder, can I like... I don't think I can water it, can I? I thought maybe like watering it, maybe. Okay. Nothing around here. Some kind of ancient inscription. Oh, it's not hopscotch. I thought this was hopscotch. Where are you? Oh, why do you... Ooh! Oh! Hey, Clover! Remember how I told you I apprehended a human last week? That's her! Huh? Huh? You still think I'm... Your captain did explain to you I'm not a human, right? <laughs> Please tell me she did. Oh, she? It has to be undone. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just thought you... No, no, I'm sorry. I just... Get it often. Wait, you get that you're human often? It's totally fine. You wouldn't believe how many grumpy monsters I deal with. And now that you're a grumpy monster, I'm sure you're very nice. Ahem, anyway. What's your name? Hey, what? Huh? No, not you, silly. Her. Oh. I... Actually, how about... Red... That's what your colleagues have kept calling me every time I get falsely apprehended. Wait, is this a reference to that one Undertale fan game from years ago? That red fan game? It has to be, right? I barely remember it, but there was like a fan game, like or a fan boss fight or whatever called Red, right? 
To be honest, I hoped that eventually I'd be caught enough that you'd all recognize me and then stop. I might just be wiser to join the guard at this point. Join? That would be fantastic. I'd be glad to show you the ropes of my job. You could even help me build puzzles. That might be a code violation now that I think about it. Ah, it's fine. What? It can't be that easy to get in, right? I mean, they let me join. We'll figure it out. Ian Clover has some important business to attend to. But I should be free next week. You can find me doing my duty around Snowden any day. Oh, you're serious? Uh, <laughs> I mean, uh, sh sure? Sounds like a plan. See you then. See ya. Can we talk to you? Red stares awkwardly. She isn't prepared for a second conversation. Okay. Mail! You have a watch? If you don't, that's fine. Because you know what time it is? Mail time, mail time. I truly hope you like your mail. As for me, I must set sail. Okay, what do we got? Shuffler's letter. Oh, the shufflers. To our latest shufflers recruit, Toast here. There's someone out in the wild that we forgot to warn you about. This scruffy fellow of a blue hat. Don't interact with him or support his endeavors. Okay. I'm gonna tell you why, because his letter reads way cooler as a mystery. <laughs> now, I'll let Swig finish this. He gets upset when he misses out on writing letters. Yeah, upset, Swig. <laughs> Okay, so blue hat triplets. Okay. What's in here? Sorry, I'm not home. Okay, it says the thing. Yeah, okay, it says the same thing. Okay. What about in here? Oh. Alright. This looks like like a western version of the judgment hall. Oh, I think we continue this way. Nope, I wanna go back up real quick. I don't want to continue on the journey just yet. Jesus, so much in this place. This place looks fancy. What the poop? What the poop is this? Jeez, I was hoping it'd be cooler in here, but nope. Alright, let's talk to everybody. Have you given up your life of being a wrangler to experience modernism? I highly suggest doing so. It is the most prestigious life one could choose. Chick architecture, light switches, latte machines, it's all here. Once you indulge, you can't stop. Why do I choose to live in the dunes and not somewhere modern like Hotland? Because I want to feel important. If I walk around using tech in front of a monster who don't, I'm the cool one. I'm probably the most se secure monster around. I need to invest in a nice suit to really sell my status. Gotta say, there's something incredibly unsettling about not wearing clothes. Okay. Hello, big man. Yep. That's correct. Oh, he's on the phone. No, not that I know of. Sir, what are you suggesting? Are you sure? No, I'm not arguing. It's just... Affirmative. Over and out. Is this dude a hitman? Please stand clear of this machine while we're operating. In fact, I'm gonna need you to stand clear of the whole arcade. It's best you don't question it, alright? Sir, it's me again. You have a problem. Yeah. There's a kid jeopardizing the operation. Brown hat, yellow bandana. Yep, that's the one. Do I have a distraction? No, why would I? What do kids like? Video games? You do know what I'm trying to get them away from, right? Their parents? Yeah, I think kids like their parents. <laughs> What? But sir! Affirmative. Over and out. Say, sport. How have you been lately? How's the homework coming? How are the grades? Uh, <laughs> sad face. Uh, I'm assuming Clover does good, right? What's swell news? Your mother always said your, <laughs> your head was too large for your body, but you know what? It's because you're so smart. Haha, <laughs> proud of you. I'm so sorry. Not again. Um, hey kiddo, why don't you go to the playground? Yeah, go on and get some exercise. These are kid games will only- will only- I got a job to do. Okay, what the food? Oh, can we play games? Love Blaster. The poop? Oh, it's Mew Mew. <laughs> Mew Mew Love Blaster! What the poop? 
dash to safety, Z arrows, give it your all, shoot, hold X. Okay, Z to dash, X to shoot. Ow, okay. That's the poop. I'm assuming Alphys has the highest score on this game. Is that supposed to be Rousey? Oh gosh, oh gosh. <clears throat> nope. What the poop? <laughs> what the poop? Okay, I'm going again. Dude, what the poop is this? Is there like a, a like a thing you can get for getting the highest score on this? Or like a high enough score maybe? Oh! Oh, was I supposed to get that? Or was probably like an upgrade or something. Ow! Jeez! Arcade games are hard, man. Oh, let's get this. Oh, multiplier? Oh, what the poop? What the poop? What the poop? How was I supposed to dodge that? Uh, okay, I think that's enough. Bro, what the poop? Can I play this one? Oh, yo, what do you want? I'm in the middle of a gaming sesh. Oh, you're a kid like me. I bet you're good at these machines. Have you tried out Mew Mew Love Blaster? It's addicting. I suck at it, though. Here's a final boss, but I've never seen anyone reach it. Bet you could totally kick its butt. Oh, so I probably get something for kicking its butt. I remember this game working more efficiently in the past. The air pressure seems to have been tampered with or something. Considering this table doubles as the AC, that ain't good news. This is the only place that keeps up on modern trends in the dunes. How do monsters live without good old electricity? Especially those wild east folk. That life ain't for me. By the way, I've heard talks of re reforesting the dunes lately. I don't know how, but I'm rooting for it. But uh, okay. Okay. So maybe if I reach the top, if I beat the boss, he'll give me something. But I'm assuming I'm gonna need to get both those like multiplier thingies or whatever. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, give me that. Oh, sweet, sweet. Oh, I'm about to die anyway, though, so what matter? Oh, it doesn't even last forever. Come on. Dude. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on. I dodged that somehow. Oh, I did it! No! Oh, wait, what? That wasn't it? Okay. I'm just gonna leave, because I don't know if this... I don't want to I don't wanna spend all my gold on this. Oh, shit, sure, I forgot to talk to this shopkeep. I would sell you something, but I'm on strike. The owner needs to better themselves. That's me. I'm the owner. Run along now. I don't see myself improving anytime soon. Okay. A child's drawing depicting three happy monsters. My precious family. By me. Okay. Well, this has been nice. I guess I gotta get going though. You could probably get something if you reach the boss of the Mew Mew Blaster, but I suck at that, as you can tell, so. Yeah. If I do miss out on something, let me know. But I need to get to the end of this now. 
and now I'm think Oh, hello. Sorry, buddy. This path is blocked. I ain't moving no matter what anyone does to provoke me. You wouldn't understand. Girl boss behavior. <laughs> what the poop? Nothing to see here. That's a check anyway. Maybe one day there will be a great treasure lying beyond my hot bod. <laughs> but as of right now, there is only a hot bod. <laughs> Mine. Stone bathing is a delicate process. The more you make me flap my lips, the more uneven my tan will be. At this rate, I'm going to be... Great. Gradient? Gradient? Keep disturbing me, loving it. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, Marvin, we got to say. We should probably get going. Oh, okay. Huh, there's gotta be a way to Hotland somewhere. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, I left on my G at home. Would you lend me one? Sure. Thank you. Can you make a wish or something? Hmm. I wish... That Clover will make it back home safely. Now you have one, and I wi- Now you have me and the wish on your side. A wishing well with a large amount of G inside. Cool. The dune's wishing well. Hold the G close to your chest, think of what you want most, and toss it in. You never know, if enough monsters wish for something, it may come true. Yeah, sorry Martlet, that was a nice gesture, but again, I know how this story ends. Ah, I see. An, old, an oak base of iron nails holding it together. Oh, sorry. I was nerding out for a second. Sure is a cool wagon. Anything to say? Okay. I'm just checking to see what she has to say in every location, okay? I'm assuming this thing is going to get out of the way. Soon. How big are the dunes, man? Oh, looks like we're reaching. Huh? Hang on. I think someone's coming this way. Oh, boss fight time? Who the poop are you? <coughs> Guys, looky here! Someone new has stumbled into our humble town. Oh, is this the person that they the shufflers warned me about? Because they're wearing a the blue hat. Oh, <coughs> this better not be another joke. Oh god, for once, don't look like it is. Is this an actual gang? How many of them are there? Hiya, strangers. Oh, hello. We're just passing through. We mean no harm, I promise. That's what the last guy said. Let's just say he's one with the wind now. Uh, oh my gosh, you... <laughs> I'm just kidding around. You were shaking in your boots for a second. <laughs> you sure got me. That wasn't very funny, Edward. I can assure you, we are a delight to be around. Nothing you can't handle, I'm sure. I... Uh, why do you two insist on scaring away every monster you meet? At least Mooch never oversteps her bounds. Never. Um, well, it was a pleasure to meet you four, but... We'll be going now. Hold it right there, Missy. Oh. Are you pals giving- are my pals giving you trouble? Come now. That ain't a way to treat guests now, is it? Are you the sheriff? The name's Northstar. I run this town. Not alone, of course. These fine monsters are my posse. Or, I don't know. I think that's how you pronounce it. Together we are... The Feisty Five. Cool. My name stands for... Fearlessness. Excellence. Intuition. Sneakiness. Toughness. Youthfulness. Justice. Hey, lucky for you guys, I have a yellow soul. It's the justice soul, so we're good. Hmm? The J is silent. Anyway, <laughs> now that we're introduced, I'd be glad to give you and your buddy a tour. Hold on. Your buddy. Are they, uh, human? Oh, I, I didn't I see that for a reason. Um, well, I won't say no. I knew it! There ain't no doubt in my mind that this kid's a real, living, authentic human. Sorry about this. I gotta seize this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Ed, fetch me that kid. Sure thing. <laughs> that sound! <laughs> Clover's face! Wait, what are you doing with Clover? Ah, Clover, is it? That's a mighty fine name. 
to answer your question, Feathers, Clover and I got a town to run. Wait, what? Don't Feathers me. You're speaking to Martlet of the Royal Guard. I can well report you to King Asgore for this abrasive behavior. Your Royal Guard? That's funny, because I don't see anything to indicate that. No armor, weapon, badge. Hey, left all that in my post in Snowden. Please, don't bother trying to fool us. He's right. I am truly sorry about this, I really am. But business is business. Together, we'll beat the Feisty Six! You know, I got a better name. It's called the Sinister Six. The Alliteration. Shh! Tisk! Clover, I can't go up against these guys. Don't worry, I'll figure this out. Star, should we be doing this? Poor Martlet is upset. Don't be a buzzkill, Moray. When's the last time something exciting happened around here? You've got a point. Ahem. This town's full of excitement, especially now. Let's go, bud. Wait, so he wants me to run the town with him? Oh, and Feathers. Welcome to the Wild East. Clover's face, though. Barkeep growlers of ice water for the house in the- Oh, I have an announcement to make. <laughs> Clover's face, I just love it. <laughs> this little fella here is Clover. Hey, Star. What the hell are you doing bringing a human here? Oh, someone's angry. Seroba Shush. Now I know what you're all thinking, but trust me, Clover here ain't no greenhorn. They know what they're doing. Just look at that hat. Actually, this could be fun. <laughs> Do not hit me. Alright, no more heckling from the crowd. Ahem. Ladies and gentle monsters, as Saroba said, Clover is a human. Ooh. I know, exciting stuff, a real honor. Now, I will let Clover tell you about their life. But I've been studying up. I'm a bit of a human expert if you didn't know. Oh great, here we go. Here we go indeed. Did you know that humans use monsters for transportation? Ooh. It's true. Large four-legged monsters. They put a seat on the top of them and everything. They're called horses, Star. Ah, so you know one of them personally. That's quite impressive. <laughs> Did you also know that humans are fireproof? When they're feeling accomplished, they ride monsters straight into a huge fiery spear. What? So the monsters burn, right? Most monsters aren't fireproof. Star, are you saying my friend Horses was killed by a fiery spear? No, um, well, I'm not quite sure. I'll ask Clover. Did the monsters die? I don't know! I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I'm assuming... Yes? I don't know. I'm just gonna be honest, I guess. Then I regret sharing that fact. Pretend I never said nothing. Anyways, did you know that... Look, Star, you don't need to keep this up. Because it's all true, every word. Ha! I knew it! I'm pretty darn good, aren't I? You're the best! Yeah, the only sheriff for me! Haha! <laughs> well, I reckon we've done here. Y'all can go back to your daily lives for now. Can I leave now, please? As for you, Clover, it's about time you see what this town has to offer. I would give you a personal tour, but if there's one thing you have where you come from, it's freedom. Take your time exploring, talk to the townsfolk, and enjoy yourself. I'll be waiting here for you. Give me a shot when you're ready to start training. Okay. Okay. Is there a place I can save real quick? Cause like... Wrapped up in conversation. Quite the popular spot. Everyone is wrapped up in conversation. Okay. Cause like... This video... I didn't expect this place to be this big. North Star is the coolest. One time my construction team was demolishing a building in New Home. But uh oh, an infant was in the way of the building as it came crashing down. Suddenly North Star appeared and wound the, his lasso up. He wrangled that skyscraper with a breaking a sweat, yeehaw. For saving its life, the building gave North Star 1 million G. True story, true story. 
Me and Northstar are a lot alike, don't you think? The golden complexions, the hats, the owning of two legs. I would roleplay as him, son, as his son, if only he'd let me. Northstar's four friends are okay, but who cares about sidekicks? I mean, unless I was a sidekick, I would care about that a lot. Okay. Howdy, human. Give me a drink, bartender. What an introduction, right? Hope you didn't have any stage fright. Stages can be scary. All wooden. I'm scarcely making faces at you. I'm from out of the. I'm from out of town, like yourself. Got some folks I'm close to back west. I'm. I really got it. Get them over here soon. They'd love the atmosphere. Good luck out there, human. And these guys are strangely accepting for me being human. A posse of microfog froggets. Oh. Hey, where were you in the ruins? I tried finding one of you. A mini bar fight? The head of the party comes to rest down, reminding them of their strong brotherhood. Hug it out, settling their differences. Because at the end of the day, they're all just tiny frogs in the great big world. This town is big enough for all six of them. Too big. What do you want? What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. My life's a wreck! Wasted! Woeful! Washed up! I was supposed to make it big! I was gonna be a big time producer! You know, show business! I couldn't tell you where it went wrong. I studied hard, I graduated middle school, what else do you need? Snuck my way into a gig booking at a joint in Hotland with potential in my eyes. One day this robot fellow rolled up to me and asked if I ever produced... If I've ever produced an artist. Now I'm a great producer! Make hot beats on my computer every weekend! I had the talent, but I lacked the vision. Wait, so Metaton's around, right? That robot's Metaton, so like... So Alphys must be here, so no Gaster then. I told that one wheeled television they wouldn't make it into the industry. Okay, yeah, that... yeah, Alphys. What an idiot I was! They soon garnered a following and totally exploded! Not literally. Maybe. Look, kid, I'll tell you this. Sometimes, it's like we don't control our lives. Fate has a cruel way of teaching us lessons. Have a little foresight and try not to grow ignorant like I did. Don't you forget that. Let me feel sorry for myself, please. I will not let it go. Okay, buddy. Oh, oh this is me out of glass. This loon isn't always this crowded. It's happy hour, you see. half price drinks. But you don't know that, so they'll continue to sell you full price drinks. Whatever you do, do not come here during... Hour. The drinks are twice as expensive, and Dina throws a punch at whatever. Uh, Dina throws a punch at whoever orders one. Uh, upside is you get a coupon for 10% off your clinic visits at the end. I would love to stick around for your stay, but I got a catch cactus to hug. What's with that look? So I have a boyfriend. Get over it. <laughs> okay. Howdy, howdy, human. Take a gander at my wares. Hard hidden stuff is off limits. Oh, please. Okay. Can I sell stuff to you? This is a bar, not a marketplace. Try blackjack down the road if you want to barter. Oh, okay. This town. Oh, this little place? It's pretty fun around here. I heard it was established some years back in the Dunes game. Its name, if you get me. I should be polished. Uh, I should. Ugh. I should be polished on its history, but Star don't talk about those days. I was looking for a friendly environment to share my brewing skills, so here I am. There ain't terribly much to do in this town, but that only makes it more close-knit. Every day has been pretty predictable until you showed up. I'm eager to see what Star's planning. There's snakes. <laughs> I get this question a lot. These fellas are my pets. Real reptiles, not monsters. Their names are Anne, Sammy, and Bert. The underground still houses some critters from the surface, like birds and insects. I found these west of here, hiding in the crevice of sorts. Some monsters think keeping pets is strange, but I think it's cute. They give me someone to talk to when business is slow. What a character. Our big and courageous sheriff. I get a feeling he ain't as tough as he likes to play up. But then again, maybe he's just clumsy. His whole posse is a hoot. They frequently host parties here. He definitely knows the right kind of monsters to surround himself with. Not to mention Soroba, his childhood friend. I get a kick out of her in Star's antics. When she brings her daughter into town, it's basically two against one. Now that I think about it, it's been a while since I saw that rascal. We really need to get the whole gang together again. 
I wanna see what you got. Ice water. No way. Root beer. Family friendly. A little baby burger. Can I get the adult soda? Dang it. <laughs> uh. I get the. I get the root beer. Uh, maybe? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now I can leave. You can't any time. Won't hurt my feelings. Oh, I see. Star's trying to keep you here since it's a big deal and all. That ain't right if you're wanting to go. I try not to infringe on Sheriff business, but I'll ask him about it soon. I'm sure he means well by it. Alright. Have fun out there. Can I talk to you guys? Several monsters are enjoying a nice fair game of poker. How do I keep losing? I come right out and say it. Yes, I am a finger. I came free with the last shipment of bottles. What else do you want me to say? Stop poking around my business. Okay. You're Clover, am I right? Oh, is that the male whale? Your name has come up... Wait, am I not... I don't think I'm talking to you, right? Your name has come up once or twice. Hmm? You look confused. All oh, right, I'm not rhyming. Yeah, that's just a company policy. Also, I'm talking to the whale. It gets a little tiresome sometimes. But other than that, I have no complaints. It's a great job. Wouldn't trade it for the world. I'm a little worried, though. These days, those fancy cell phones are all the rage. I don't know how long the mail service will. Oh, me, oh my, my break's come to an end. See you next time. There's letters to send. Okay. Yeah, cell phones are becoming a thing. Hey, but Toriel had one. You there, human. You okay? Yeah. Really? Well, alright then. I apologize for Star's antics. He's really into human culture and whatnot. You show up here and he flips out. I mean, it is quite unbelievable. A few humans have wandered into the underground before, but... To never set foot on these sands. All that to say, I'm glad you did. My name is Saroba. I'm a friend of Star's, but not part of his posse. I think I'm saying that right. They're a bit too rowdy for my taste. May I ask for your name? Clover. Welcome to the underground, Clover. Your tire is surprising, I must say. But, um, I won't press you on that matter. I'm afraid Star is going to drag you into his activities for a while. You must have places to go, correct? The castle, the barrier. You probably want to go home. If I'm being honest, I haven't seen Star this is ecstatic in some time. Maybe you should entertain him a bit, roll of his punches. I'll see what I can do about allowing you to leave. I know of a safe path to Hotland through the... Uh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Talk to you later, Clover. It was nice to meet you. Can I talk to you No? Okay. Oh, sweet, a save point! No, I want to save, not ring the bell. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get a cowboy hat? Howdy! Jeez, it's like my greeting has found... Greeting has found its home. Oh, I see. Like, th like the hat? It's a disguise. This area is pretty populated, so I picked this up to be safe. You being separated from Martlet is pretty lucky, but... I hope the star guy doesn't hold you here for too long. I may have to intervene if he does. Okay, now I'm gonna leave this episode off here, because my goodness, I did not expect this place to be that big. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hoped you enjoyed. Next time we'll do some of the star stuff and we might end up in Hotland. I actually thought we were in Hotland, but nah. Well, yeah. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and please subscribe to see more. Until next time, my compadres, goodbye.